think if the shadow moves to your photo, you die. Problem solved. What the? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 2019 American supernatural horror film named Polaroid. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see Sarah and her friend Linda going through a box of Sarah's late mother's belongings when they find a Polaroid camera. Sarah tells that her mother had brought this camera from City Auction. That's when Linda receives a like from Sarah's crush on her picture, which provokes Sarah to take a photo in lingerie on the Polaroid camera. When the flash goes off, Sarah seems uneasy. They wait for the photo to be developed, but then Linda's phone rings and she leaves from there. As Linda leaves, Sarah starts hearing some noise from above and she goes upstairs to see that the sound was coming from the camera and she sees a creepy shadow behind her in her picture. Then the lights flicker and turn off, which scares Sarah a little. Just then a ball falls down from attic and she thinks that Linda is probably doing all this. She goes upstairs to the attic to check where she hears some eerie sounds. When she investigates it, she gets frightened and falls but ends up dangling by her ankles instead of falling to the floor. She is then pulled up by an entity and is killed off screen before her dead body tumbles to the ground. Next, we see Bird Fitcher, a shy high school student who works in an antique shop. Her coworker and friend Tyler arrive there and tell her that he has brought something for her from the yard sale. This is a Polaroid camera that has the initials RJS carved into it. She is very happy to see that camera and tells that these cameras were made 70 years ago. Tyler asks her to check the camera by clicking his picture and while they are watching the photo being developed, Tyler tries to kiss her. Bird gets a little uncomfortable with this and leaves from there, but in a hurry, she forgets to carry the camera case. Now after coming home she checks the camera but her dog Nettie starts behaving strangely looking at the camera. Just then her friend Casey comes there and scares her. Casey asks her to attend tonight's costume party, to which Sarah refuses at first but when Casey tells her that her crush Connor is also going to be there, Sarah agrees. Now in the night their other friend Mina and her boyfriend Devin comes to pick them up. Tyler on the other hand is just about to close the store when he decides to look at some of the photos that came with that Polaroid camera. He notices that there's a smudge-like figure in those photos that moves from one photo to another in real time. Now he gets very scared and grabs a hammer thinking there is someone behind the screen but finds no one there. Then he starts checking the camera and only then does he hear an eerie voice from behind and is attacked by an entity. Here they reach the party where they meet another of their friend Avery. Now everyone starts enjoying the party but Bird is not comfortable there. Then after some time there she meets Connor and they start talking. He looks at her Polaroid camera with her and asks about it. They are still talking when Mina and Devin come there and ask them to take a group photo. Bird says that she can take a picture of them with her camera and when she clicks the photo. Casey also comes in and Bird sees a shadow. But that shadow is not there in the photo. Then they all leave from there and Avery comes there and snaps a selfie with it. Then someone calls Bird down and she sees that the police had come there. Next, we see her at the police station where Sheriff Pembroke tells her that Tyler is dead which she gets shocked to hear. Now in the night Bird sees Tyler's photo free from the shadow, which has mysteriously transferred to Avery's photo. Here after the party is over, Avery is alone in the house and is cleaning the house. She comes to keep the garbage in the basement where she hears someone walking from above. She comes back upstairs where she sees an entity that charges her. Avery runs away in fear of her butt trips and that entity kills her by snapping her neck. The next day, Casey calls Bird to inform her that Avery is dead. Hearing this, Bird goes to check the photos and sees that the figure had now disappeared from Avery's photo and shifted to the group photo. She tries to destroy the camera but some waves emerge from it due to which she falls down. Bird later tells her friends about the figure that she saw it in Tyler's photo before the party, and that photo she took with a Polaroid camera right before he died. After his death, the shadow moved to Avery's photo and when Avery died, it moved again. She tries to warn them but no one takes her words seriously. Devin attempts to burn the group photo, but when the flames reach Mina in the photo, her arm spontaneously combusts and the flames cannot be extinguished. Casey's fingers are slightly cinched before Bird stomps out the fire and the photograph restores itself. Mina is taken to the hospital to undergo surgery for her arm. Here Connor asks Bird if she got a box or something with this camera, on which she says that it came with a case. 
Then both of them go to the antique store to get the case and Bird says that she will go inside as she is not in the photo so she is safe. Then she goes inside and starts looking for the case and outside Connor notices that some sound starts coming from that camera. Bird gets that case but is attacked by the entity, which behaves like a photograph, following the same rules as photographic development. Connor helps her out and on the way. Bird tells her that there was someone in there. She was wondering why he is following her to which Connor tells her that she is also in the reflection in the background of the photo. Here in the hospital, Mina regains consciousness and Devin tells her that he is going to get the nurse. He goes to the reception but there is no one there and here Bird calls Mina and tells her that they are in danger and tells her not to be alone. Devin is looking for the nurse outside and here that entity attacks Mina. Now when Devin comes back, he does not see her there and suddenly her dead body hangs in front of him. When Connor and Bird arrive at the hospital, they learn about Mina's death and Devin blames Bird for it. Bird leaves sadly and then Connor goes to her. She too believes herself to be responsible for all this and tells him that her father was a reporter. One night when she was 12, he was driving her to a friend's house for a sleepover. They were halfway there when he says he wants to take a detour to show her something he was working on. She said she don't care. So he turned the car around and they got hit. After this, they start checking the camera and its case, in which they get the tag of a case. Then they go to the library where they discover that the camera was owned by a photography teacher Roland Joseph Sable from their school years ago. He was accused of torturing four students and killing three of them while taking maniacal photographs. One of the captives escaped and Roland was killed by police. Now all of them are discussing this when Bird tells them that when that entity was coming after her, he came near some hot thing and reacted to it. Then she explains that while developing the photos, heat and light can mess up the images and maybe this thing behaves like a photograph does and it only developed in the dark. Devin accuses Bird of being responsible for what happened to Mina. He attempts to take a picture of her as a threat. With Connor and Devin both fighting for the camera, Devin is accidentally snapped by the camera and the shadow transfers to his photo, showing he is next. Now seeing this he gets very scared and tries to click Bird's photo but Casey saves her by stabbing Devin's photo with a pencil, injuring him in real life. Devin, upset from being stabbed, becomes aggressive and accidentally slaps a police officer. Devin is then detained while Bird and Connor try to explain to Pembroke that Devin is in danger. They tell him about the camera and the entity and how it is killing their friends by transferring to their photos. They also show the newspaper clipping about Roland Joseph Sable. But Pembroke threatens them that if they do not stop telling these stories, he will detain them too. Bird then meets Devin, who apologizes to her saying that Mina's death was not her fault. Casey calls them and tells them that Roland's wife Lena still lives in the same house, and upon hearing this they both leave to meet her. They meet an elderly lady there who at first refuses to talk to them but when Bird tells her that she has her husband's camera, she gets shocked to hear this and tells them that this camera belonged to her daughter Rebecca James. Here the entity comes to the police station and kills Devin in his cell. Lena takes them to Rebecca's room and tells them that she is dead. She explains that Rebecca was slow and when gifted with the camera she became very attached to it and took it everywhere with her. As a result, she was bullied by four classmates, who took the camera and used it to take inappropriate photos of her. The next day they passed the photos around the school. She committed suicide out of shame, causing her father Roland to abduct and kill her bullies in a fit of rage. Then they caught up with him and shoots him and he died holding the camera. Now even in death, Roland roams looking for the last bully who escaped to kill him and she shows the two a picture of the survivor. Just then the lights flicker and Connor notices that the shadow has disappeared from Devin's picture. Now he leaves from there and Bird asks Casey to meet them at school and tells Connor that maybe she knows how to fix this. They both reach the school and after searching yearbooks, they find out that the survivor was Sheriff Pembroke. Then Pembroke also comes there and he also caught Casey. Now in an attempt to stop the entity from killing them, Connor takes a picture of Pembroke but he reveals that Roland in truth often sexually assaulted Rebecca. Lena's version of the events was merely just to cover her husband's evil deeds. The four students, including him, were Rebecca's friends trying to warn her of her father's actions upon finding her nude pictures in his possession. Fearing the public would find out, Roland abducted them, prompting Rebecca to kill herself out of misplaced guilt. Then suddenly it gets dark and Roland picks up Pembroke's photo. Pembroke shoots him but nothing happens to him after which he tears Pembroke's picture in half, which kills him instantly. Roland then stabs through Casey's leg, impairing her ability to walk. They try to flee but Connor is separated from Casey and Bird. 
Now Roland starts following them but both of them somehow escape from him and come to the bathroom and Bird turns on the hot shower. Then when Roland comes there, he is unable to reach them because of the heat and disappears from there. Bird leaves to find Connor and after they reunite she tells him that they have to get the camera and take it to some place where that thing is going to be fully formed. Now as he picks up the camera, Roland comes over and drags Connor away. But Bird takes a picture of herself, prompting him to chase her instead. She leads him into the school's dark room where he is able to fully develop, and sets a trap for him by connecting the camera to a timer. But Roland manifests in an unexpected area, ambushing her and grabbing her by the neck. As Roland prepares to stab and kill her, she manages to discreetly retrieve the camera and takes a picture of him. Roland is able to knock the camera out of her grasp, but Bird immediately crushes the photo in an attempt to kill him, which in turn crushes Roland in real life and crushes Bird's fingers as they were also in the photo. He survives and starts moving towards her and fearing for her life she then resorts to burning it in doing so. Burns her own fingers, disintegrating Roland and finally killing the malevolent spirit for good. She later reunites with her friends and ultimately throws the camera into a river. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.